everyone. I'm taking a quick break from teaching online. I am an undergraduate instructor as well as a PhD student. I'm taking a quick break to talk to you all about my current routine. So a couple weeks ago, I'll let you all know what my current routine of products would be and everything um, unless something went wrong. Well, something has went wrong. Two things. I want to talk to you all about how I'm rea being reactive to those things and how I'm going to work around them. Let's get into the first problem. So the first problem is I think that my shampoo that I was using to cleanse, well, the shampoo that I was using to cleanse my hair every five days became too stripping for my hair. Um, so I was using this um, shampoo by uh, Curl Mix, their pure aloe vera shampoo um, that's fragrance free. I was using this every five days and I've been using it every five days. I was using it every five days for over a month. So even before I put up that list of products that I had here on YouTube, I was using this religiously, as you can see how far down it is. Um, but it became too stripping once I moved to only using botanical high quality gels. And a botanical gel is something like this Curly Magic. It's an all natural gel. Or the Curl Mix um, gels. So I did try those as well. We'll talk about that later. But um, when I started using only a botanical gel, the Curly Magic, and I would go in at the end of the five days to wash my hair with this, um, my hair would feel tangled and rough, um, as opposed to how nice and slippy and it used to feel, my hair used to feel really slippy and smooth after I washed this out. But it would be typically a week where I use something heavy with plastic. <laughs> so I was trying like the, Jesse Curl products, and I was also trying, I tried the Curls gel at one point a while ago last year. Not a while ago, probably like November, December, um, early December. But those things have heavier plastics. So using this shampoo with that, um, it was very gentle. But with my hair being having next to nothing on it, because I'm using things that can be easily rinsed off with water and just a light surfactant or cleansing agent, um, it just felt this feels stronger. It almost feels like it lives up to its claim of being clarifying. But I know that this is not like a clarifying, clarifying shampoo. But this is a shampoo that's not quite moisturizing, but it's not like stripping, stripping. So yeah, this was too strong for me to use every five days. So now I've started using this co-wash. Um, I did want to hop in and let you all know that all cleansing conditioners or co-washes are not made alike. This cleansing conditioner, it has surfactants in it or actual cleansing agents. It has cocomidopropyl betaine and it also has tetrasodium EDTA for hard water removal properties. Because people think all cleansers are the same. I've heard people say a shampoo is a shampoo, and that's not true. Scale of cleansers. Um, this is the strongest. This is a light, not as strong as this one, but it's still deeper cleansing, and it's not really hydrating. This one is much more like moisturizing. This is more conditioning. It has more conditioning ingredients. Um, and it's very, very gentle. This one doesn't even lather, which is really strange. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so basically, um, this is my lineup of shampoos, but this one I've realized I don't need to use once a month because I don't use anything in my hair. I don't use, I don't really use oils and butters like that. I don't use heavy plastics in my hair. Now I use only a botanical gel. So I realized, whoa, I am using this really strong stripping shampoo too often. And I'm using this shampoo that's not like stripping stripping but it's 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 more cleansing than conditioning i'm using this way too often so basically i have been over cleaning i was over cleaning my hair i'm not doing that anymore um but yeah and you know it's crazy that i'm saying that i was over cleaning my hair because in the past i used to under clean my hair and it had a lot of um it had a lot of repercussions. My hair got really dry and brittle from using a moisturizing shampoo once every seven days. So my hair got super dry and brittle um, because the moisturizing shampoo, it couldn't remove the heavy shea butter and stuff I used to use years ago. So I think I got kind of afraid. And now I've kind of just, you know, 
jumped all the way over to the other side of using things that are too cleansing. And it's like, oh, wait now, <laughs> wait now, wait now, foe. Establish a happy medium. So now I'm all about establishing the happy medium of not using a cleanser that is going to strip living daylights out of my hair when I don't need that. So there's that. That was problem number one, using cleanser that are, cleansers that are too strong. Um, problem number two. So I've started to get knots when I put in my styling product. For the past couple weeks, I would get one knot. And I don't understand what's up with that. Um, I've never had knots in the past, but I would go to, um, I would put my Curly Magic, this is after I've shampooed and conditioned with no problem. I'll put my Curly Magic in my hair and then I would step out the shower to style it. And sure enough, somewhere I would run into a knot where two pieces of hair have been linked together by a shed piece of hair wrapped so tight around the bottom of it and so or around it or however it's on there so I just have to cut I just have to cut it I have to cut <laughs> I have to cut out the shed hair and I've never dealt with that before but now I'm having this issue and um I'm not really sure why because my hair is thoroughly detangled what I'm thinking I'm gonna do I'm thinking that I'm going to leave conditioner in parts of my hair until I apply the styler. So I'm basically saying I'll leave the conditioner in until I get to that part and then I'll rinse the conditioner out and then put the curly magic on. And twist it up and then go to the next section. And I got this idea from Abena, a cosmetologist um, here on YouTube. And so I'll, I'll link that video in the description of what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So those are the two problems I've run into with my um, routine. What problems have you run into with your routine? Is your routine going great? I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.